Hello, so I'm here with another tutorial. My name is Eduardo. In this happy mentor tutorial, we will see how to make a config screen, okay, or settings screen. So, and we will be using live multiple screens, okay. So, basically, we will, uh, well, first let's create a scene. Okay, so just let me tell you this. Uh, we want to have like this kind of multiple screens for settings. Okay, to have more space for the real app. Okay, so sometimes we have a lot of buttons. Okay, in one screen, in the main screen, and sometimes this is like kind of confusing and it is not very nice. Well, so the main idea is just to create one. Uh, the first screen, in the main screen. Okay, you will have a button or two buttons okay one is for the app and the other one is just to go to the second screen that is the settings screen okay now here we are in the settings screen okay so we will change the color, the background in the main uh, screen in the screen number one okay using these three buttons okay the fourth button it's uh, just to return and apply the changes okay so it's quite simple okay so this screen is the main okay so now let's start with the blocks for the blocks uh, here we will start with the default values okay later we will modify them but just to start with the color okay so basically I just uh, in the first part I will like to change uh, the background color okay enter into the settings screen that is the screen number two okay then well we will use this procedure that is a, a very typical procedure to open a second screen okay so here if I click the button okay I will open the other screen the screen number two and I will pass this value the color this color and I close this screen while I open the second one now let's set the defaults for the settings screen so in the settings screen okay it is quite the same so but in the first part we will receive a value okay the one that it was I send it from screen number one I use this just to have like kind of memory in the app well we create a variable that is for the color and we when we initialize the screen we receive this value and then we just add the the procedure for the buttons to change the color so we will use a simple procedure here with the background color get this kind of variable the bg color so we just set it for all the buttons don't forget to name your your buttons it makes things easier and your blocks will look more organized well so we have this so orange change to orange gray to gray and pink to pink and then the back button it's the one that it's going to uh, close this screen and pass the modified value value to screen number one that is ah, I forgot in this part to add the close screen in the back button blocks but don't worry okay then later I will add it but it's very important to use it to to do it because if not you will have like multiple screens open at the same time so well here we can check the the behavior sorry for the colors it is because my tab it is not recording properly well as you can see that it happens but what happened if the user didn't uh, select a color so I wanted to well just to remember what was the original color that I was there so let's just work more with the code when the screen initializes we will use this if it's not empty remember the get star value if you don't have anything if you don't receive anything it will be like an empty test so that's why I'm telling if the test or the get star value is empty so I want you to if it's not empty I mean uh, I want you to use this value okay to change the background if not just use this kind of default then in the settings screen 
we will do something similar. We will check if we are receiving or not and a value. Okay, so if it's not empty, so we set this background color to get the star value. If not, well, so we set another default. Well, we check it and remember to test these multiple screens. You have to use, you have to build your app. Okay, with multiple screens, you cannot use it with a companion. Well, we change the behavior, apply orange. So again, and then gray, again, return, pink, back. So, and then what if I didn't click anything? I return, so it keeps the same previous uh, selected color. So that's what I wanted. Okay. So now let's improve a little bit the blocks. Okay. So I mean now let's add some variables to have more control over this. So we have three, uh, one variable here that is the background colors. We set it at default. So this it's uh, this uh, helps you a lot. Okay, to use the variables instead instead of the using just the values like I was using before. So, and then you will have three values in this list that is the background, the width, and the height. And of course, if I say that is a list, well, you have to make a list. Okay, so when we return, we will send this like a list. I am sending the global, the global, uh, the color, the width, and the height. So, and remember the order. Or the these elements in the list. Well, I just modify the sliders, okay, to change the width, the value, and then in the screen number one. Well, now I want it. The background color, yes, is one of the values that is.
And I will show you first the the one without uh, the labels. Okay, so here I don't have the labels. So, well, first let's check the colors. Colors are okay. I pass it this first value, and then we'll we modify this. Ah, uh, yes, I, this is the final part. Sorry, it's with the labels in the sliders. Check. So bottom 40 and 120. So you change, you send, and even if you don't click anything or you don't modify, so it keeps the previous value. Okay. So in that case, the user is not like again. In, uh, modify the value and I guess I hope you like this tutorial okay it was a pleasure and any comments or doubts please let me know thanks for watching